हेलो चिल्ड्रन हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो बच्चों इतने सारे राइटिंग स्किल्स हम सीख गए बट सबसे इंटरेस्टिंग वाला तो रह गया एंड दैट इज अबाउट स्टोरी राइटिंग आर यू फॉन्ड ऑफ राइटिंग स्टोरीज बिकॉज इट एन आंसर इज योर क्रिएटिविटी एंड इट टेक्स यू टू अ मैजिकल वर्ल्ड द फैंटसी वर्ल्ड ओके एंड देन यू स्टार्ट राइटिंग स्टोरीज ओके सो हेलो किड्स अ स्टोरी इज अ फिक्शनल वर्क ऑफ प्रोज विच फोकस ऑन वन प्लॉट one central theme and one or two characters it is meant to evaluate creativity imagination and self expression of students when we talk about story writing as a classroom task we mean a short story with a fully developed theme a short story has a beginning a middle and an end so dekhte imagination use karke story likhne ke liye kaun se rules points hame remember karne hain ओके इम्पॉर्टेंट हिंट्स रीड द गिवन आउटलाइन और बिगिनिंग केयरफुली क्रिएट कैरेक्टर्स एंड इंसिडेंट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ द स्टोरी प्रोड्यूस वेल कनेक्टेड नरेटिव यूजिंग योर इमेजिनेशन यूज सिंपल एंड रियल लाइफ लैंग्वेज गिव अ ब्रीफ टाइटल एंड मॉरल ऑफ द स्टोरी द एंड शुड बी द नेचुरल आउटकम ऑफ द क्लाइमेक्स ओके चलो लेट्स लुक एट द सॉल्ट एग्जाम्पल्स रीड द आउटलाइन ऑफ द स्टोरी गिवन बिलो write it in full using the outline and your imagination also give a suitable title to it abhi outline di gayi hai a man caught and taught a raven to say of course i am went to sell it in the market for 10 uh, 10 rupees a farmer said is this bird worth so much money raven said of course i am the seller said the rare raven lived in the court of the emperor of persia farmer bought it presented to his wife who said what a beautiful bird raven said of course i am wife thrilled disappointed because it said only this one sentence farmer angry what a swindle bird raven croaked of course i am so bachcha raven jo hota hai wo kala kauwa hota hai okay so this is a story about that okay try before you buy is the title given to this story One day a man caught a raven it was a large black bird the man taught the raven with great difficulty how to say of course i am he immediately took it to the market and offered to sell it to anyone for 10 rupees at that time 10 rupees was a lot of money okay a farmer passing by said 10 rupees is this bird worth so much of money the raven immediately croaked hoarsely of course i am The farmer said excitedly, "You seem to be a very rare bird." And the raven answered him, "Of course, I am." The clever seller said, "The family of this rare raven lived in the court of the emperor of Persia." अब देखा seller farmer को कैसे story दे रहा है, okay? झूठ मूड की कि ये emperor of Persia के पास रहता था. And then turning towards the bird, he said, "Are you not the most clever of all the birds found in the entire universe?" Okay of course i am said the bird as everyone in the market came to have a look at this rare and intelligent bird which answered all the questions asked by, uh, to him okay so this supposed cleverness so pleased the farmer that he immediately bought the raven as a present for his wife to jaise hi usne pucha ki aren't you the most intelligent one and unique one and all so sare jo log the market mein gather hoke dekhne lage aur usne bola of course i am the farmer bhi khush hoke usne usko purchase kiya and gifted it to his wife okay oh thank you said his wife very happily back at the farmer's home what a beautiful bird it is and the raven answered of course i am she was quite thrilled with such an intelligent bird he is about as sensible as any human being said the farmer's wife of course i am sang the happy bird but soon the farmer and his wife were very disappointed to find out that their clever bird could only say this one sentence baad mein un dono ko realize hua ki ye sundar sa intelligent bird aur kuch bol hi nahi sakta siwai ke of course i am okay what a swindle bird this is okay said the farmer who was angry after having parted with the money so easily and the raven stretched his neck and croaked again of course i am so moral is try before you buy anything so bachcho isn't this giving you a nice lesson in a very dramatic way and in a very creative way and imaginative way
yes so now be smart okay write a short story on the basis of the following outlines and using your own creativity and imagination write a suitable title of it and the moral it conveys outline three friends find a bag of money agree to divide the money equally all very hungry one sent to the village to buy some food he wants all the money for himself poisons the food comes back with the poisoned food the other two also want to keep the whole money both murder the one who brought food then they ate the food both die moral clear chalo is basis pe aapko story likhni ab second one write a short story on the basis of the outline given below and using your imagination giving a suitable title and a moral to the story okay one day a fox wished to eat a cock wandered through a village so a cock sitting at the top of a house goes there and tells it foxes are now friends with cocks come down let us talk birds and animals have decided to live together as friends cock pretends to look at a distance fox asks why cock replies hounds are coming fox hurries off saying i have some urgent work meet you later so bachcho both stories are pretty interesting and i'm sure that you will give a beautiful title to this story and a lovely moral as well so quickly grab your notebooks pens pencils and start writing these beautiful stories